We were in New Zealand. Yeah. And we had this race. You were in a rent wreck Yeah. I think roughly 200 miles to yeah. the outback New Zealand. It was around North Island. Yeah. And we were in a 45-foot racing boat. Yeah. About 100 miles by sea. Yeah. You were on your own. We had James May. It still remains one of the happiest days of my life. <laughs> because I said goodbye to James May in the morning. And he was James May, you know, just James May. And then I don't know how long it took, maybe eight or nine hours or something of yeah, that it nature. Took, it took a while. And I met him on the beach, the finishing point, on the other side of New Zealand. I have never seen a human being transform physically as much as he transformed that day. He, I mean, his face was swollen <laughs> and tomato red, covered in sand and sick. And the man was, <laughs> he was exhausted. A yeah. Exhausted. Yeah. Um, and, it, and it thrilled me. It was arousing to see that you very nearly killed James May. I think he had a terrible time. He hated I, it. it. He, he, he still hated says it. it's the worst day of his life ever. Yeah. He did racing. call you. He did call you Captain Misery. He's like, oh, let's all jump misery. aboard. Not me. No, HMS, HMS Misery, misery Not, with Captain Misery. He'd me, saved a little yeah. packet of peanuts. <laughs> which was going to be his lunch. And it just, I don't know how fast you go, 30 knots? Yeah, something, something like, like that. that. It's just getting spray. And it's, it's a catamaran, so you've just got the netting in between the two yeah. hulls. And he's sitting, so it's coming up into his balls and into his <laughs> face. And he'd saved these nuts, which is going to be his lunch. And it was like, I was just, and he just took them out and a wave just went, <laughs> <laughs> and, the whole lot. Just, and then didn't they lose a camera? I think they lost a camera. Oh, we lost, camera yeah, we lost was, plenty. And then he couldn't even film him. <laughs> Yeah. So he couldn't even see the misery that he would. We were trying to convince him because the rest of the crew were all sitting up high out of the out of the waves. I said, J you know, K James, come on, get get up out of the, out of the spray. No, 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 I'm, I'm good here. I'm good here. So like you say, eight, nine hours just constantly it's, getting it's pelted. All the sun cream came off. Yeah, was anyway, wreck. I've always loved you ever since that because you were the man who made James May miserable for nine hours. Even <laughs> I haven't been able to manage that. <laughs> Caleb, are you a boat person? Do you like boats? Never on a boat. Never. I'll tell you like, actually, I went to, went to um, for my six year anniversary in my other half, I went to Stratford and she bought me a dinner on a boat, went on a barge, went down the, went down, turned back round and come back. He's also never been in a taxi, on a train, <laughs> on a bus, on an aeroplane. No, 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 I don't need to. I just don't need to. Why do I need to? took him in a helicopter the other day, oh. and as we got in, he went, Do I need a passport? <laughs> no, we're only going to look around the farm. I didn't <laughs> just come back again. <laughs> I was a, I actually, at the start, I was very nervous. Mm. And um, now you want one. Oh, yeah. What a passport or a helicopter? <laughs> I don't want a passport. I don't need the passport. Have you got a passport? No. Never been abroad. I'm guessing, I was told the other day if I got one, I think the first one's free, isn't it? <laughs> it's not the cost of the passport people consider, it's the ability to go places with one.